This is insane. Jesus Christ. 36-5 at the shield. 36-5. 36,506 damage. What on God's green earth? How the heck are you, everybody? I am Fastidious. Welcome to my channel and a very happy International Nassault Day, or I think that's what this day may become known as if everything I think will be true becomes true, because apparently this epic completely and utterly breaks the guild moss in half. So if you do not know, Zucania has had two amazing videos covering this where there is a quirk, let's call it a feature, of Nassault's kit where he places his toxic fire and essentially it results in increased physical damage taken. So it's kind of like a debuff on the guild boss, on any boss, but or on any enemy. But the way it really can be used and you know taken proper advantage of and pushed to the limit by you guys seems to be in guild boss. I want to give a huge shout out to Zucania. I will link both of his videos. He also made a third video, maybe I'll link that too, where he did the first ever, I believe, 50k blood epics only, very much on the back of Nassault, very much enabled by a little Nassault boost that hopefully we can articulate here and help a lot of people with. I've gone through the comments on his videos. I've spoken to him about it a bunch. I told him I was going to make this video and give him a bunch of shout outs. And there's a lot of viewers, a lot of viewers of his and a lot of people in the community that are getting their first ever 50ks or some first ever 25ks hitting all these big milestones because of Nassault. So I really want to get into that before I do, before we we get into the action i have to explain what is on screen and i have to give one more huge thank you and that is to necrocron necrocron is someone i see in my streams a lot amazing guy just a really supportive positive person but also a huge member of zucania's community and he was the one who came forward with this strategy i've heard from terran i've heard from destined i've heard from a lot of people that people have kind of known about it for a little while but it was necrocron who came forward and said this could work and be game changing in guild boss we're gonna find out if that's true so what are you guys looking at on my screen right now? Well, this is a run. It's obviously 50K blood. I'm live on Twitch. I've got literally 50 plus witnesses. We just did a very optimized run with a very meta team. So we were running Piercer and we were running Nightmare with two epic lords because I don't have legendary lords for them. And we've got Wrath and we've got Lunaria. But you can see we've got some heavy hitters. We've got my A4 Arrogance putting up 127 million damage. We've got my A1 Hex in his exclusive artifact, the Sutra Caprice, I believe it's called, which is just cracks him wide open, putting up over a million damage. We've got uh, Silas down here, bonded A2 Silas, 91 million damage. Then we've got my A0 Lust. She's putting up 71.6 million. You can see big boy numbers, really meta. And I'll tell you, this was a good run. It was nice and optimized. Uh, my placements are pretty good. My timings are pretty great. But most importantly, we were hitting on most of those Dolores 8020s. Um, we were getting some really nice stuff. So with all the gear and all the stuff I did, obviously I used a bunch of epics. We brought Volca, who wasn't so geared to the gills. We got a pretty comfy 50K, 52.6. So what is the plan for this video? I want to get right into it. This is about Nassault. We are going to take out Hex, our number two damage dealer, and bring in Nassault. That is because, aside from Lunaria, who doesn't really matter for damage, she's there as a lord and for the invig buff that she's going to give one of our DPS, Hex is our only magic damage dealing hero. The Nassault feature, feature, it's not a bug, it's a feature. Moonton, keep it. Just change the wording in his tooltips. It is a feature. His toxic fire is going to lead to increased physical damage received by the guild boss. You can think of it kind of like bleed. Bleed has an effect that does that. With bleed, I believe we'll check in a second, it's either 10 or 15%. With Nassault and his Toxic Fire, it seems to be a minimum of 40% that in some situations when he's ulting is up to 50%. That being 50% increased physical damage taken. You can see where I'm going with this. So let's get right into it. We're going to take out Hex, our number two DPS, our A1 Hex in his signature exclusive artifact. And we're going to put in Nassault. And I hopefully... Hopefully, it's all going to go according to plan, and this number should go up. Not really because of Nassault. You know, he'll still be doing magic damage, but we should see some big boosts in our top tier, S plus tier physical damage dealers. Arrogance, Silas, Lust. Let's get into it. Let's see what it's all about. Fastidious. Fastidious. Alrighty guys, so here's the squad we just used, but as you can see, 
from the corner of your screen, it is International Assault Day. It is no longer International Hex Day. So let's set that off our screen, and let's take all of Hex's gear and throw it right onto Nassault. He's in a pretty good, not my best, but a pretty good uh, Soulbound Arcana set. You see, I had to go create Bangle, but you know, we're hunting for some big subsets, and we're getting a lot of them. Because we go Soulbound Arcana, we can get attack speed here on the Breastplate. Some really nice stuff. All in all, it's what I'd get. This is a solid, solid late game build. Maybe moving towards end game, but but it's it's a reasonable build for some people. It's coming out for Hex at 11.6 attack. It might feel low, but that's pretty strong for Guild Boss, especially when you've got a good Dolores like I do. We'll show the builds for everyone at the end after we do our Nassault run. Uh, I have not done a single Nassault run ever in Guild Boss, so I'm really excited to see what happens. Attack interval at 1.0 seconds. Attack speed at 455. Uh, you can see he's crit capped with 341 crit damage, 21% rage regen, and like. I said he is in the Sutra of Capris. <laughs> Did I butcher that before? I don't know. But this is just, just completely elevates him. Single target damage by 15%, rapidly draws cards during the ultimate. This is a good ass hex. Let's move on. This video is not about hex, it's about an assault. So we're removing this hex, this hex that just put up over 100 million damage in my, you know, kind of epic heavy, but very meta Nightmare 4 team. We're going to take all this gear and just toss it onto the boy in assault, and we're heading into battle. We're going to put it in the exact same spot I just had Hex, and uh, we're going to get it going. So let's do a swap now, and you can see, now we've got an Assault over here. Let's uh, let's get the boy up, and he's he's, he's he's geared out. So it's all the same stuff. For him, it's coming in at only 9.6k. Uh, uh, we are going to, of course, throw an Artifact on him, and, you know, Hex got to run in his super signature Amazing Exclusive. And Assault is going to get my max out to your Twilight. I'm actually tangentially curious what kind of damage he does. He really is here as a support. The way Dolores boosts your whole team with Inspiration, the Assault will boost the entire team with the increased physical damage taken by the boss. So this is our Assault now. Looks pretty solid to me. So what does it come out with the Artifact? So 11.1, pretty comparable. Uh, if we look over here, attack intervals coming at 1.4, down from 2.6, 455 attack speed. We really just want him going fast with some rage gen because we want that ult happening as much as possible. A nice chunky amount, 351 crit damage, and he is crit capped. This looks pretty good to me, but let's talk about what is happening. So this is not explicitly listed in the tooltips. This is what I believe is happening. I have talked with some of the brightest minds. I've talked with Zucania, obviously, a lot about this. I talked to Terran. Terran really knows the stuff, and he knows the nitty-gritty of the stuff inside the game that a lot of us can't see. What I think is happening, there were theories that maybe it had to do with Awakenings. Zucani has now tested it. It does not. I think what's happening is, with this alchemy over here, you can see when Deployed starts using alchemy, the more poison vials produce, the higher damage, up to 40% damage. This reads vague, and this is the only hole I see where we could get in. I think it's saying when there's alchemy, blah, 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 you can reach a point where there's an increase of 40% damage taken. And for some reason, that is expressed as physical damage taken. And when you have toxic fire, uh, you know, when you're when you're making a, oh, where is toxic fire here? When you're triggering all your magic vials, you're getting the, the, the interaction between burning and poison, you get this nice thing. You've got toxic fire, it leads to its own thing. And then essentially it's providing a secondary kind of debuff, not just dot damage on top of the damage over time effect he's applying this kind of debuff the best way for me to articulate that and guys i'm trying to keep it as simple as possible because this is a confusing complicated thing that we're not fully to the bottom of yet but if you look at someone with bleed over here like let's go on vladov you can see deals continuous true damage equal to one percent of the target's max hp that is the dot effect that's the damage over time effect and then increases physical damage taken by 10 percent what I believe is happening is there's an interaction between the alchemy portion of Nassault's talent, the toxic fire he puts out, that results in he's got his normal damage over time effect, you know, with whatever toxic fire, I believe it was 50% magic damage. Uh, is that correct? Let's go here. 50% magic damage per second can be considered as burning. That's kind of, that's that's the first part. That's the akin to the 1% uh, of, tr of true damage on enemy max HP that we have with bleed. But then, where a bleed has the 10% increased physical damage taken, there's something where it's 40 to 50% increased physical damage taken. That is happening because of the interaction with Nassault, with Alchemy, with Toxic Fire. I hope that explains enough, guys. We're running an A5 and Assault here, but this has been tested and works with an A0 and Assault. You should A5 him, though, if, if you can, if you've got the dupes, because why not? Well, he's still going to go into your team. You want every member of your Guild Boss team to be as good as possible. That's why we're choosing to run him in this super, super nice build. I will say, just very quickly, if you want the free-to-play option of an artifact, you want him ulting a lot. You want lots of fire. You want lots of vials. You want cool interactions. I think Nightmare Samsara is going to be a brilliant, brilliant use 
but building the salt, how to build the salt is going to be very contingent upon is it worth it. So let's freaking find out. Let's go over here to Nassault. We've got this really nice piercer team. Let's remove Hex and let's toss in Nassault. No longer will he be rubbing Nassault in the wounds. He might be literally the saving grace for many players. Let's get into it. Alrighty guys, we're gonna head into the run right now. I'm gonna do the exact same placements I did in my Hex run. I'm just gonna put an Assault where I put Hex. If you want to see a run of this team with Hex how I did it, I will have a run at the end at like 4x speed. We'll put some fun background music just so you can watch and see it for yourself. But this video is about an Assault, so let's do some fun stuff with an Assault. If this thing's gonna work, we're gonna do better than 52K. Uh, so I'm gonna do an actual run, not a playtest run. Let's see it. I will also say, even if even if we get 49K or 48K and it's worse than with Hex, I think this is freaking enormous because we just took out like one of the best, if not the best guild boss heroes in the entire game, Hex, at A1 with his best, the best exclusive artifact in the game. He was wearing that. If Nassault can bring the team even close to that, let alone surpass it, I think this is incredible. And it is the best feature, Moonton, feature you've added in a while. So good job, Moonton. All right, let's go in and let's do a run. I'm gonna go, uh, gonna dial in so I get my placements perfect. I'll try to talk you through it. Uh, let me actually very quickly raise myself before we have any issues. And let's do it. So first placement's gonna be Silas. Where is he? Silas right here. Then we'll get Laurel. Then we can get Arrogance. Then we can get Dolores. And then this is the Hex spot. So I'm gonna put an Assault there. Now I'll put Lunaria down just for the Invig. She's an Invig gear. I'll show everyone's builds at the end. Now we can get Lust down. Uh, and then we can get Volca down to buff Lust. She's an Invig. I'll show you all the Invigs once we have our placements down. Now we're going to get Wrath. He can go in front. Thank God that these guys didn't place a little Wailing Skull. Well, Arrogance is wearing a Realm Tear, to be fair. Uh, and then we'll get Hollow down. So we've got all our placements, and I will show you all of our DPS have Invig. Uh, so there you go. If you don't know how to check, someone asked me this on stream today. If you click on them, their portrait appears in the top left. You can see whatever buffs are they are wearing. So you can see plus 10% attack. It's not ticking down like this one over here. Just straight up, that's it. That's a boost, right? Let's go to Nassault. He's an Invig. Let us go to Silas. He's an Invig. And uh, I have to click on Wrath. He is an Invig, right? There we go, we're off to the races. So I will quickly tell you guys, if I restart the run in a second, it's because after Dolores' first ult, we got the 20% chance and she didn't get her first initial roll. We need at least that for this to be a fair apples to apples thing. So let's get into it, let's go. I'm gonna hold Silas uh, and Lust when they come until Dolores is at 90% so they, we can have some optimization with overlap. I'm not gonna wait the whole time because then there's a big time loss. We'll go like this. We'll go like this. I will also say, guys, feel free to trigger Laurel, but don't do it until you've triggered the, the ults of your DPS. Because when you trigger the ult, as long as she's not ulting, they will get this increased damage. You can see 20%, it lasts for eight seconds. However, once they get that buff, it will last. I actually mentioned this to Zukani, and he, he was nice enough to shout me out, because this is something I found out a little while ago. So let's trigger. I am just gonna hold for an assault, no reason, and I'm gonna hold the ult as well because we're waiting for these guys to cool down. You could say, but Fasidious, you can pick up Laurel as soon as possible, and it would maximize. You'd be able to place her earlier. I don't see the benefit for a, for a run like this where we're taking advantage of Volca, and there's plenty of time to cycle a lot. Might as well get some extra rage regen out at the beginning like this. So you'll see, I'll show you that in action. We trigger an assault. Now look over his head. You'll see that's that's the damage boost he just got from Laurel. So you can see it over here, and it's ticking down as opposed to this one, which is permanent. Now that that's happening, we can trigger Laurel. She's ulting, and you'll see it stays there. Nothing happens. As long as you trigger them while she is ulting, it's fine. I will also say, if you wanted to pick her up now, the buffs would still stay as well. So it's good to know that with Laurel. It helped me a ton in Gear Aid 3. That's where I figured it out. So let's wait, particularly the picking up uh, after they've gotten the boost. We'll wait, we'll wait. The second Laurel is done, though, with this ult. We will pick her up. And now the moment of truth. Are we going to get the roll from Dolores? We freaking better, man. This has been a nice intro. I don't want to mess it up. We got it, baby. We got it. You see that 300 above her head? Let's go. All right. So we'll wait. We'll wait. When Dolores is about like 95, I trigger Silas. Yeah. Let's go. Perfect. And now I'm going to dial in, guys, because this feels like a good run. Uh, let's get Lunaria down. There's an argument I should have done Volca, but this way we'll get Volca more for the end. I think that will help us more with those vulnerabilities. We don't need them now. As soon as an assault's ready, we'll see. And the first check, guys, at 3.30, we want to see damage at about, we want to see blood at about 13k. That would put us on like a 50k pace. 
three minutes, 30 seconds remaining. I mean, let's trigger lust. It's looking pretty good. It is. Uh, I really want to show you, Zucani did a nice job in his video of like when big hits. I mean, you could just see Silas just hit for 509k. I'll have zoomed in on that. Uh, I will probably have to go in and edit and zoom in. There's 339. Before I was getting lots of 250 out of Silas, uh, 300, 400. It's hard to see the biggest hits. They do not make it easy for us. Um, but let's see, are we going to get a roll with Dolores here? We did, plus 300, lovely. But yeah, if I can, when I'm editing, find some big hits. I know Zucania, and it was on a better account than mine, got like 1.6 million with Arrogance. I heard someone got close to 2 million, uh, very much on the back of the increased physical damage taken from the Salt. I'll also tell you guys, the way the damage formula works is it's this huge long equation where you have to consider a lot of things. The base stats, the boost from gear, the boost from artifacts, the boost from buffs, from debuffs, so on. The very last thing in the formula is bleed. And I think that's why toxic fire here is so powerful because bleed, it basically is, it's the same bucket. It's a damage over time effect that comes with a debuff that leads to increased damage taken. And that's the same thing toxic fire seems to be doing. You can see we've got some toxic fires and stuff up. Uh, actually, if I click, I can show you guys. Uh, here it is. This is, uh, there it is, the 50% magic damage. Uh, let's trigger Dolores right away. And now I'm going to dial in. Now we're going to dial in and we basically wait and see. Uh, Laurel is ready. Uh, we will wait for a second. I am going to be aggressive and not wait. I uh, know we, we will wait for, uh, for what you might call it, for not for, for Silas to be ready. No reason not to. That yeah, will line up well with arrogance as well. All right, when he's at like 95. Okay, cool. Let's pick up Lunaria. Now trigger Silas before you pick up Laurel, right? Wait till he gets that, that thing. Now he's got the buff. Now you can pick up Laurel. And look at that. He's still got the buff, right? We can trigger an assault right away. Not perfectly optimal with assault, but as close as it's going to be because we really want to you know, optimize Arrogance, who's now nearly ready to go again while uh, hopefully Dolores will be ulting soon if we get a roll here. Are we going to get a roll? Plus 300. Yeah, baby. Let's go. Trigger, trigger. And now everyone's kind of lined up. Lovely. Damage is big, guys. So I was at about 20k on the second shield uh, the first time I did this with Hex. So let's see. We're going to be at least at least right about there. So if we're on pace right now, we're actually above 20k. If we can be 21, we'll be decidedly ahead. Uh, let's wait a moment. Now we'll do Volca. See, now we got Volca lining up on the more important part. So we'll get Volca's second shield, and then we'll get her for the end of the fight. That's kind of my, my thinking there. Look at that, 21-2. So we are ahead of pace. Of course, there's tiny moments of RNG, but we've been hitting all the same moments with Dolores and all that stuff. And with my amazing team, with Hex, with A1 Hex, with the Karma of Ka Sutra of Copris or whatever, Sutra of Copris, right? Uh, we were at 20.5, I think. Uh, now I'm at 21.2. Uh, this is insane. This is nuts, guys. I hope you realize this is nuts. This is, uh, an assault just freaking changed the game, man. We are seeing some million hits I'll have to zoom in on. People are telling me in the chat right now. We are live on Twitch. Go check me out, Fastidious YT on Twitch. <laughs> on Twitch. Let's go, baby. Let's see. Uh, almost ready with Laurel. Let's pop up. Let's see. Anyone coming up here? Yeah, we'll get the ult off with an assault first. So we wait for a moment. I'm not going to wait. Oh, well, you know what? We're going to wait for an assault and we're going to wait for Lust. Now we triggered an assault, and we're not going to pick up uh, Laurel until we've triggered Hollow and Lust. And now this is going to line us up pretty good with Silas, so we'll have some overlap. Let's get Lunaria down. Sorry, I keep changing the camera angle, guys. But yeah, I really try to keep an eye on those those damage numbers because this is crazy. I mean, guys, let me just tell you, with over two minutes left, we're already going to be getting towards 30k. Uh, if we can be over 33k, we've already locked in uh, 50, 50k, I'll tell you that right now. Trigger Laurel right away. Uh, Dolores right away. I'm very happy we're getting the rolls. Look at that. We're going to be at 30, 30k at two minutes. 30k at two minutes. This is insane. So huge shout out to Necrocron and Zucania and the whole community. I really, really hope Moonton sees this as what it is, a beautiful feature of making epics relevant. Just change the wording of the tooltip, and now we've got a great epic hero that will help many players progress and make many people happy. This is not a bug, guys. This is a feature, okay? I'm telling you, this is a feature. It's gotta be. This damage is crazy. All right, this is great. You know, I knew it. I watched Sukani's video, and then I messaged back and forth with him. I mean, he's a great guy, right? We're going back and forth a bunch. He asked me to watch a video, wanted it. I mean, it's an amazing thing they all figured out, right? Him and his community. Uh, but it's, to actually be doing it, this is insane. Now I'm gonna dial in. Let's just put up a big old number, but we're getting 50K. I mean, we might be getting 55K. <laughs> 
we took out the best guild boss hero in the game and now this is happening it's it's shot are we shocked are we shaken this epic like the title of this video is gonna be like this epic or the thumbnail will be like this epic hero broke guild boss and it will be the least clickbaity thing i've ever done this is insane 35k before the shield 35k that's what i get with like my great pyro super meta blah 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 team I mean, I, w I wonder if I need to get an assault in for like, I so I cycle in Setrum right now. That's my current team. Maybe I need to start cycling in assault. I mean, this is outrageous. I should have set, sat on Lust there. Uh, my God. Uh, no, I shouldn't because the, the time loss isn't worth the damage boost. Yeah, it's not worth it. Arguably, maybe it would be worth it. But Okay, now we go. Let's get Lunaria up. This is insane. Jesus Christ. 36.5 at the shield. 36.5. 36,506 damage. What on God's green earth? Jesus. What the hell? Oh, what an amazing feature, Moonton. Thank you. Thank you, Moondon, for this incredible, incredible feature. We're going to get over 55K. We're going to be... This is out... So if you guys don't know, my record is 57K. We might beat my record. To be fair, I haven't manualed it in a while, but my record is 57K. I mean, what the hell is going on? People, guys, we put up 52.6 with Hex, and now we're, at, now we're doing whatever the hell is going on right now. This is beyond shocking. We're going to be over 45K at, at a minute, at a minute remaining. And I'm sure there's little moments of optimization I've left on the table. There we go. One minute and one second just past 45K. Jesus Christ. I'm just checking my corners. I now want to focus and see what we can get. I, I don't think we're going to get 57K, but this is crazy stuff. I mean, you can see we're obliterating this. And it shows you my confidence in my boy Zucani that I didn't even do this on playtest this time because I was like, it's going to work, baby. It's going to work. Uh, let's go up here. Uh, we got 2.8 seconds, so I'll just let's keep an eye on Volca. Up, down, up right away, down. Crazy. I probably could have lined up Silas and Dolores slightly better, so again, a missed optimization, and that's already 50K. 50K at 32 seconds remaining. This is outrageous, man. This is outrageous. Again, a huge shout out to Necrocron, Zucania, and the Zucania community. The glow and head boys. If you guys don't know, Z Zucania's got the one of the best emotes on Twitch. We're, uh, this is easy 55k. Oh my god. So you can see with optimization, this I could probably put up a PB. Come on, give me that 55. Come on, give us the 55. Yes. My god. Are you not entertained, guys? Are we coming on 56? 55.66. Over th about th exactly 3,000 more blood. Taking out A1 Hex in Copris of Sutra. And putting in Flippin' Nassault. Who actually put up like 41 mil. It's not too bad. Wowzers, guys. Freaking wowzers. GG's left and right. This is really fun. And what an amazing feature for the community. We had 127 million damage before with Arrogance. Now it's going to be 160 million. That's quite the nice boost. Lust, I believe, was at 72. Now she's at 95. Uh, Silas was at 92. Now he's at 116. I'll have a side-by-side -side right now. I'll put a, put a picture in. Uh, this is crazy. Yeah, we have someone in the chat. Lieutenant M. Muffin is saying, so it gives your physical DPS steroids, essentially. It, it's like a, an extra level of increased physical vulnerability, physical damage received by the, the boss, and it's outrageous. So there you go. This is some incredible stuff. Uh, this is very exciting. 55.668. Let me show you everyone's builds, and then I will, you know, that will wrap the video up. I will have a run with Hex at the end, just nice and sped up so you can see it. Uh, insanity. Truly insanity. So let's hop in and let's just go right down the line. Let's start with our two star piercers. So we've got Lunaria over here. 
Uh, where is she? Lunaria over here. She's wearing Invig, going for some semblance of DPS as well, and going for some speed. It's not a crazy build, but it's so she can put out some damage while being an Invig to buff our heroes. So 13.7, 1.3, uh, capped, exactly capped, and 200.5 crit damage. For artifacts, she's in a maxed out Spirit Siphon. Uh, now if we go to Silas, Silas is in the build I always run him in. I actually do run my Silas in a crit rate bangle because it allows me to get these amazing pieces in here, get a ton of rage regen and attack speed, uh, and then we can go super high on crit damage and attack. So you can see he's at 13-1 with 379%, and that's going to be another 30 later in the battle from the Ageless Wrath. He's capped 440 and 40.5 rage regen. I really like my Silas build. He also is in a maxed out spirit siphon. Now going to our nightmare units. Uh, this is probably gonna be this is normally what I run hex is hex, the gear close to the gear I run hex in uh, normally the artifacts gonna be a max out realm terror for arrogance and you can see some really nice soulbound arcana some a lot of crit damage a lot of attack uh, some nice pieces over here this is my all ancient build uh, pretty nice that's how we got the 160 million 17.6 uh, 1.3 second interval down from 2.4 capped and 357 uh, pretty good build. Let's move along. We've got we're gonna go with lots of soul mount arcana for this You're gonna see a lot of soul mount arcana here. Same kind of thing. We got when attack speed. That's always nice for lust uh, Some really nice crit damage roll here and then an attack speed uh, Big roll on this this ancient weapon over here. You'll see 14k 3.1.3 we cut her attack interval in half. She's capped 316 and a half for her artifact. She's in a maxed out wailing skull This is what I normally run on my seal of two now for wrath. He's in a nearly maxed out wailing skull I actually just got another copy today at the start of this stream uh, You can see he's in soul man arcana kind of the same thing. We did go attack speed. That's a great thing for wrath on and on and on it's the same kind of thing not this gear isn't so crazy right i mean i farm but like you know lots of blue that i wish wasn't blue 18.9 uh, on attack very high 1.4 only 241 crit damage so there's a lot of room for improvement there he is crit capped and a nice chunk of rage regen which is good since he's auto ulting all the time that is going to be the wailing skull and then i believe our final one is going to be folka i went for just a lot a lot of speed rage regen and then any dps from there so we found that with some crit rate bangle attack speed this 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 you can see not too much crit damage again but we got 13k attack lightning quick at 562 a 1.1 second interval down from 2.4 that's kind of crazy she's crit capped 210 uh, and then 36 and a half rage regen. I just want when she's out to make sure she puts out a little bit of damage and she definitely gets her, her vulnerabilities up, uh, you know, from over here. Where is it? Oh my God, her ultimate. There you go. The physical and magic vulnerability here. Physical being the key thing. She's in a maxed out frigid flame. Uh, who else did I miss besides an assault? Uh, I guess so just our esotericists and our healers. So let's, uh, I guess here's Dolores. I'll show you. This is the invig I always run her in. Looking for attack bonus and flat attack basically just that if you can pick up a little rage regen that's good you see i did my best uh 13.8 it's pretty high because i am running her in a nearly max out golden scarab the rage regen gives me a little breathing room uh for the rolls when they do go poorly on my auto runs uh, here's a max out euphoric orb on hollow and you can see she's going uh, attack bonus doesn't matter too much but super high attack speed and rage regen that's all i'm going for and staying in an invig set i love these salvation pieces because basically ancient salvation pieces seem to be guaranteed from what i can see to have attack speed and rage regen subsets so when they roll nicely like this it's lovely she's through the roof baby she's at a 514 so we cut her attack interval in half and she's at 147 percent rage regen not counting pantheon that reminds me i will show you guys pantheon at the end and then finally we've got laurel so Laura over here, not even max promo, but she's not there for damage. She's just for invig. And then again, really high attack speed, really high rage regen. Again, we went for the salvation. Uh, sorry, I'm going fast, but you guys can pause it if you want to see the specific pieces. What matters here is 1.0 second interval. And then she's got the 127. Basically, she's there just to place the invig and then to be abusing her talent. But because I get one ult out, I want this coming up as fast as possible so I can use it and get out as fast as possible. Um, Nightmare Samsara, that helps. And then finally, the man of the hour. You saw it, but let's just finish with this pulled up. What an absolute freak. Nassalt is the man. Guys, I hope you are excited. Uh, and I really hope Moonton doesn't change this. I hope they see this as the feature that it is and not a potential problem. It's only good news. You know, it, it, it it's an exciting thing for the community. It's going to help a ton of players. I'm loving it. Shout out to Nassalt. Shout out to Zucania. Shout out to Necrocon and everybody else. Terran, the, the, whole, the whole world of of Watch Realms. When things like this happen in video games with a community coming together to find something cool, I think it's why why I love it so much. This is so cool. I love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments. Give it that thumbs up. Please subscribe and subscribe to Zucania as well. Share it with your mother. I'll see you real soon.
So there you have it. We just ran it again after filming with Hex. Still very strong, but 51-4 this time with slightly worse Hex RNG on those cards. We actually had better Dolores RNG this time than when we did the 52-6. So uh, you can see about the same, right? We got 121 Arrogance, 104 Hex, 90 uh, Silas, 69 uh, Lust. So things just slightly different. All in all, still a very strong team, but if you compare this to the, the Assault number, we're talking about over 5k blood. The previous run just over, uh, oh no, excuse me, over 4k blood. The previous run just over 3k. It's pretty wacky stuff. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed all this. See you real soon. Fast Didius.